Hi, Tarlin here for another episode of From the Driver's Seat. Today I have with me Cole. Hi, Cole. Hey, guys. Um, and how are you today, Cole? I'm doing pretty good. Yourself? Not bad, not bad. Um, how long have you been a driver? I've been a driver for a little over two years. Okay. And do you do local or uh, regional driving? Uh, I do uh, regional. Okay. Uh, what made you become a driver? Um, honestly, finances. Being a truck driver produced a lot more financial stability than being a server did when I did that for 17 plus years. I am on the north board, so I run typically five and a half to eight days out. So, But typically I'm out Monday to Saturday, and then I'm home for my 34. And then because I'm out of Jacksonville and we have a place here in Jacksonville, there's on occasions pretty much like once or twice a month I'm also home once or twice during the week because I pick up loads through Jacksonville. Okay, okay, that's gotta be nice. It is, especially when you have kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, you kind of told us where you run. What Do you go up into like the eastern part of the country at all or do you stay pretty um, much in the south? I typically stay in Virginia, North, South Carolina, um, Tennessee, Louisiana, Alabama, um, Georgia, Florida, Mississippi, Arkansas sometimes. That's pretty much it. I'm fully willing to go anywhere because I like the variety. I wish the boards were a little more open to do that more. Mm -hmm. But I also like the fact that the board that I run gives me the opportunity to have my kids one week and then be on the road the next. So. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I, know, I know that in our previous conversations, we talked about the benefits that PTI has, like that passenger program. You take advantage of that quite a lot, right? I do. My wife rides with me every other week. The week that she's not with me, she's taking care of the kids. And then she's with me the week we don't have our kids. And I also have my pets with me as well. <laughs> That's good. That's good to hear that those uh, benefits are being taken advantage of, for sure, for sure. Um, I want to talk a little bit about what you like most about your position. Um, I guess what I would like most about my position is the fact that I'm a woman in a mainly man-dedicated job from people's perspective in the past. It's always funny to get out of the truck, and I get the question all the time. Are you even old enough to drive that? I guess I don't. I don't look the part. Or they're like, you're you're driving. They're all saying I'm a truck driver, and they're like, what a box truck? And I'm like, nope. Well, I'm big, big, big trailer. So I guess that's what I like about it. I like not meeting people's expectations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, being different from the normal, right? Do you speaking of that? Do you find any r real differences in in how it is out on the road as a woman? Um, not truly, not like how people described it was going to be. Like a lot of people are like, oh, it's gonna be so much more dangerous. I think the danger is there for whether you're a man or a woman. Um, and it's just more about what you do as opposed to make if you look vulnerable. So like I always make sure I'm on my phone just because then if you're a lot less likely to have somebody approach you Mm -hmm. um, and the other thing was everyone was like, oh, you know, the guys are going to be real big jerks to you. I don't use my CB radio, more so because I don't know how to use it, but <laughs> also because I know that that's usually where a lot of the chatter comes from when people are getting harassed. Um, so not having that on, I guess I don't, I wouldn't notice it if I was coming across it. Mm -hmm. But um, everyone's actually been really nice and sometimes... And it's usually the guys that are the first ones to jump out of the truck to be like, do you need help with this? Or I have no fear in walking up to someone if I can't, like, crank a trailer or something. I'm like, look, I'm little. They've cranked this 10 feet in the air and I can't get it down. So I have no problems asking for help in that aspect. Yeah, and you've always found that people have been really helpful. Yeah, I haven't really come across anybody that has said no. I mean... I've even had people offer, which I don't accept, but I've even had people offer to be like, I'll move it for you if you need me to. And I'm like, no, I don't need that. But 
That's that's cool though. That's cool because you hear that like truck drivers they they come together and that's you have every trucker's back and so it's nice to it's nice to hear that that's continuing. I know that you and I've had a couple conversations now and I really have enjoyed getting to know you. So I appreciate your time and I hope that you um, I know you're going on vacation so I hope you enjoy your vacation. Yes, go on to go Indiana to see the ant. Fun, fun. Well, have a good vacation and drive safe. And um, I'm sure we'll see each other around sometime. All right, awesome. Thanks. See you. Have a good day. Thank you, too.